Me Page from A.T. Fraley. And my mom has the blow dryer right now, so just ignore that. Um, I am going to be doing a What's in My Theater Makeup Box video. And um, I'm going to say um, that I'm going to mention that I've been vlogging every day of the summer and I will continue vlogging every day of the summer. So if you haven't been watching my vlogs, which I don't know why you wouldn't because I've been uploading every single day. And so if you're watching this, then you've probably been watching my vlogs. Unless you searched up Makeup Theater Box and then you come across my video and you're like, oh, who's this person? Well, hi, I'm Paige, as you already know, and my dad is coming in. Perfect timing, so much noise. Great place to film this video. Guys, um, I have changed my filming spot. And I don't have a tripod, so this is being held up by a rocking chair. My kitty rocking chair. And I like this lighting, actually. I didn't think it was going to be great. But, first thing I want to do is kind of say what this box is. Um, it's obviously my makeup box. It has a lock on it, which is good for me because the last makeup box I had, someone actually like broke into my makeup in the show and they um, dug into my makeup and used makeup they did not need to use and that was expensive makeup. But this is a caboodle. And my last makeup box was a caboodle, and it's really old now, and really dirty, and I mean, it's one of the originals, so it's really cool and big, but this one will probably be just as much, and it's new, and it has a lock, so you can't just unlatch it and get into it, and it's just black, it has these little, like, diamond, sort of, diamond shapes, like, pattern, and it's kind of shiny, and it's got this metal right here, and the handle's on top, and it's really fancy, because when you unlock this, go to the right page, go, go to the right way page, when you unlock this, you think, oh, it's just gonna be a box. Well, it opens up like this. And now you're like, oh, it's just like a little thing. Nope, because it comes out even more on each side. There is these, there, these little things that just slide out. And each side has three of those little sections. Can't see. Oh, and the rocking chair is rocking. And my phone just went off. And then there's the bottom section, which is right there. So I will show you a close-up. That's kind of basically my box. This is what my box looks like when it's fully open. So there's these three sections here, and this big bottom section, and then more sections there. And yeah, in this very first section, I have all my lip stuff and a few rings. I just do. And these rings actually open elastics. See? There. They actually have elastics in them. There's actually one in each one. So it's kind of like a ring, but it's also a place to hold more elastics, which I have a big thing of elastics. And then I have this um, lipstick. It is called Focus ground stuff. It's called Glazed Berry and it is from somewhere. I don't know, but it's a pretty color um, on there and it's this pretty mint color on the outside. I like the hot silver. And then I also have this um, like chapstick, but it's not really chapstick, it's just called Tropical Lip Shield. I guess it's always good to have. I don't really use that for theater. And then I have this lip gloss that's ring pop. 
awkwardly just ring pop flavor <laughs> and then in this next section i have my blush and these um toe spacers for when you paint your toes but then i have this avon blush here's this avon blush and you can see me hello but um it's just like a light pink and it comes with a blush brush. And then there's also, I have this huge blush brush. I mean, it's really big and super fluffy blush brush. And it's not as big, but it's kind of tiny. And there's this blush brush, which is kind of weird. It's a weird shape. This one's kind of just like a hand size. It's kind of like a travel size, but not too tiny. They're all pretty much the same. All of my nail polish, and I'm sure I have more in the house, but I literally have just random types of nail polish and nail files. These wouldn't actually fit in there, so I put them in the blush section. And then I have like this double-sided um, Revlon nail polish. There's so much nail polish in here, like I don't even know how many colors. But it's crazy, and this isn't even all my nail polish. But I have some like base coats and some top coats and glitter, a bunch of like clear glitter and pinks and purples. And I don't really know how that fits in there, but it does. In these three sections, um, I have. Let's bring this closer. Um, this top section is eyeshadow, and again with the Avon, this hasn't been re really been used, I mean it has some, uh, hey, me again, but it's got this like nude color and then like a lilac and a dark purple and a black and it came with this little applicator, and I also have this Ame, it's old, it's new mom. Um, again with like a nude color, it's kind of like a bronzy color because it's shiny, and then a brown, and then like a super light nude color. And this eyeshadow, um, I have this weird maroonish almost purple, then another lilac, and another brown, another black, another nude, and then a green. It's like a really weird vomit green almost. Those have a lot of purples because that was in midsummer. I had an entire like what looked like a mask around my eyes made out of eyeshadow. And then more purple just wouldn't open. But this one has a white in it and then a purple and then like a super dark purple, almost brown, and then a black that's sparkly. And this is Maybelline. I have a bunch of these applicators. Um, it's like pink on one side, black on the other, and this is from Avon, it's just like a package, you can't even read it, it says Avon, it says Avon and pink, you can kind of, there we go. And then I have this Clinique, and it's kind of been used, there's another applicator, and it has a nude color, a dark nude color, like brown, and then... You can see me again. Um, pink and a super dark brown. Oh, yep, I have two. So there's just this random applicator. And then this super teeny tiny like, little brush applicator. And that's in there. In here, I have liquid foundation. Um, you always need liquid foundation in your theater makeup box. You always have to put it on first, and they're both in the color C2, both of them. But this one is super empty, but I use the side, the thick part, as concealer when I'm in shows because it like kind of dries around that part. And then this one is not almost empty. I use this one as an actual foundation, and these are just for like. I mean, it's L'Oreal, but I got these at, like, Walmart, so you don't have to have so anything fancy. And this is, like, the Boing Stuff concealer. Um, 
I only used like a lighter tone because I really like skin. This used to be my mom's, but then she got a new one. So I just kind of use the light color now. And then I have like sponges because what else are you going to use when you need sponges? Next I have this, which is kind of like crazy makeup and eyeliner. This is Bed Nye Clown White. And this was used in cats. And so, um, black Bed Nye makeup. I just got like black makeup on me. And then I have this liquid eyeliner, which is really nice because it's super tiny. I mean, it comes on thicker, but it's just like so perfect because if it's super thick and comes on thick, it's going to be like a really big line. But if it's super tiny and comes on thick, it's perfect. But if it's like tiny comes on tiny, then you're going to have to draw on it, like draw it on twice. And then I have this super nice creamy Flomatic mascara from Merle Norman. And it's got this as perfect little brush. Mascara from CoverGirl. It's just mascara. This one has like a curved tip. So it's really nice. Because my eyelashes are super short. And I can't curl it with a eyelash curler. And this is just like a makeup brush that I got. My friend Vanessa actually had one. And then after she got them, she was like, I don't know. So I went out and tried to find one. And I got one. They did come in packs, I think. But I just bought one because I only needed one. I have this just normal eyeliner. Super dirty. But this one's black. And I know I have a white eyeliner. It's exactly the same as the black one. Um, it's all, They're both Ben Nye. Except, again, these were used like in cats. So I have a black one and a white one. Now for this bottom section, um, my mama got me this bag full of makeup and some of the, it's Clinique, some of the Clinique stuff and even Avon, I believe. Um, she gave me in this bag. In here, I keep this Clinique. It used to be um, filled with powder. It is empty. But it did not come in the bag, so it's not like I went through powder that fast, because I only got this like a few months ago. But I keep elastics in it. There, if you can see where it's empty, I just put like all my elastics and they fit perfectly in there. And I just stack them up so I don't lose them. And I also have this miniature um, nail clipper. It says a little on it because it's from like a baby brand. It's like baby nail clippers, but they work and they're super tiny, so I can just put them in the bag whenever I need to trim my nails backstage. Now I have also from my mama this bag, which is from Avon. It's just this black and pink striped bag. It has a little thing here, but I don't really use that because I have it in the bottom of the here. And you open it up, it kind of opens like this, and I just keep deodorant for dance shows because I don't want to be stinky. Inside, there's like a pouch and I have this hair clip for whatever if I just want to wear it. And I have just two hair nets. There's actually only one for blonde hair. Oh, and I have a wig. There used to be two. I used to have another pack of these and it wasn't open.
bag. And if I ever um, have bobby pins, which every show I buy another pack of 500, I would set those in this section and zip it up as well. But as of right now, I'm not in a show. Bobby pins are kind of non-existent. If you're a theater person, you know how that is, or even a dancer, or just a performer in general. Bobby pins, they just go. They're gone for some unknown reason. And you never know where they go. They just kind of disappear. Guys, thank you for watching this video. Um, it was kind of long and kind of useless if you don't really care about this kind of thing. But um, I thought I would just might show it to you since you seem to enjoy like the theater bag video. Also take note that I am sick today with sinus infection. And I did switch recording areas a lot because my parents, the TV, and I just sometimes just have to switch. But thanks for watching, like, comment, subscribe, bye!